Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Taco Maladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Today it's going to be a match between Clem and Raynor here on Beckett Industries, the latter edition. Top right it is the Blue Terran Clem. And in the bottom left we've got Raynor. So two 18-year-old, incredible, incredible European players. They are number one and number three on a Ligulac right now. Well, this is going to be a Patreon cast, so if you're watching this on patreon.com slash falconpaladin, thank you for supporting me for at least $1 a month on that site. And if you're watching it in, uh, the light, in late June, then uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if you want to watch this cast ad-free, watch it on the patreon.com slash falconpaladin site. Ta-da! Anyway, oh, a pool first here from Rainer, here on Beckett Industries. All right, so as of this recording, Clem is number one on Oligulac, which means he's the best player at this point for StarCraft II in the entire world. And I think Rainer's number three behind Serral right now. Anyway, pool first. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe respecting the proxy, right? Maybe super, <laughs> like super amazingly well respecting the proxy because I don't know that you need to do it that hard, but because he's not being aggressive with it, right? Like he's not making six lings. He's not running them across the map right now. There's really no reason to do it. I mean, Clem's not dumb. Clem's going to get in here with this SCV, see what's going on and be cool. I mean, he's going to see, all right, well, there's Lings on the way. So we have to keep the Reaper at home, unfortunately. But other than that, like, there's nothing nothing too crazy going on here. So Reaper name is Harry of Clan Henderson. He's got big shoes to fill. Oh, well, that's an interesting point. Harry and the Hendersons. I saw that movie. It's an 80s film. I don't remember a lot about it, though. I really don't. Anyway, actually, the Reaper comes in because recognizes the timing isn't such that Lings are going to make it across the map. It wasn't a 12 pool, but it was a pool before hatch play. So interesting. I don't know. I don't know what benefit there is here for Raynor. It doesn't seem like he's getting a quick third base. It doesn't seem like he's going for a lot of Zerglings. He's just laying as if he went for a 16, 18, 17. So somebody's going to have to explain to me what... The benefit was for Rainer to do that. I guess maybe he gets speed a little faster, but I don't think he is. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, nothing weird over here from Clem, that's for sure. Just going for ye old Standarino 1-1-1 one, one, one play Hellion Pressure into probably a Banshee. If I had to guess what's going on here, Harry can actually block this third base attempt for a little bit of time. Oh, it's three minutes? At some point, okay, so he just low grounds it. Ooh, Reaper almost got in there. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, he made it out with all of 4 HP. He should be dead. He should be dead, but he is not, and that's great news for him. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and toss the starport over onto the tech lab, do some add-on switching here, very fancy stuff, out of Clem. And it is a Banshee, and it is Cloak. So, Cloak Banshee starting at 342. To like two super duper fast stuff here. So third base late for Rainer. I don't like this for him. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like this for him at all. His third base is late. He doesn't have a roach warrant. It's just lings and queens and drones and all that stuff. I don't know what to, what to tell ya. Creep spread looking pretty good. You know, connecting all three of the bases. This creep tumor is gonna help this little bare patch of ground get covered by the creep. And we'll see if Clem... I really feel like, yeah, Clem's one of those players who's going to keep his Hellions alive most of the time. Not going to YOLO in there and try to get a few drone kills. He wants the map control. He likes being able to attack with the Hellions while the Cloak Banshee is doing work on another base. So this is... Uh, I'd say this is working out pretty well for Clem. Creep spread. Again, a bit of a problem. Oh, nice snipe. Nice snipe on that tumor. Very, very well done. Look how fast queens are in that speed zone. That's incredible stuff. Yeah, I mean, the queen positioning has been pretty perfect here. It's easier to do when there's creep everywhere and there's an overlord in this position and an overlord here, too. 
It's hard to kind of sneak in. Overlord comes in and sees. Okay, Cloak Banshee. And another Barracks here. And another Barracks is going to be a lot of bio. Banshee does end up showing up. Getting some shots to the face because spores exist. Uh, but, you know, drone dead. Drone dead. Queen Spines are never good. Does he have two Banshees? He does. Where's the other one? The other one's coming in. Just brand new to the party here. You don't get Cloak unless you get at least two Banshees. If you have one, you're definitely doing it wrong. So yeah, Cloak Banshee instead of a quick third base here for Clem. Uh, he's actually not going for the third. Hang on. Okay, he has the third base. It's in the wall. I was going to say, that's where else it could be. Fourth base on the way here from Rainer. I love that. Especially before Clem feels safe enough to go ahead and toss down the third base on location. So, I don't know. Rainer's fine. Like, the opening was strange, but doesn't seem to have affected much here. Rainer's at 60 workers at 6 minutes. He's getting surgical hooks. He's working on more lings and more drones and stuff. And everything's pretty great for him. Clem on the other side is now going to land his third base at 6 minutes, which is fine. It's not super fast, but he's got combat shield on the way. He's making medevacs. He's got marines. He's got a tank on the way. It's additional barracks, and it's going to be a very, very strong timing push here. Maybe waiting for 1-1 one, one to finish? Uh, waiting for combat shield for sure, I feel like. Also, if you have banshees, you can do this two attempts at a fourth base. You kill drones that are transferring over here, too. Oh, these drones are so vulnerable! Uh, queens, with overseer support, though. They're ready to rock. Twelve lings in production. Alright, so, let's see, yeah. Waiting for combat shield, waiting for 1-1. One, one. Not that far away. Yeah, I'd be surprised if we saw a committal. Ah! Lings on the front door! Get down, siege tank dead. Marines. Pick them up in the metafax, though. Don't just heal them. Save them alive. Oh, no. And they get into the main base to Clem! Oh no, this link run by is too powerful. I mean, it's not like murdering the whole economy, but that is seven, only seven SCVs dead. I feel like we should have gotten more than that. It's fine though, tank positioning. Banelings have speed. It is one, one in combat shield for the Marines. Another, oh my gosh, he's got another group of lings coming in here though. Okay, well, goodbye Marines, you're all toast. Tank positioning is pretty hot. I like it quite a bit. Are we still down? Banshees. Banshees being used in base defense positions here. I I kind of love these little Ling runbys. Uh, they're 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 working for me. Uh, tank still firing. Hellbats getting some shots off on the hatchery, on the drones. Another drone ends up going down. And look at this surprise, surprise wrap around. And everybody picks up and gets on out of there. Tank dead. Clem, with a good reaction time, does manage to pick up a bunch of his marines, keep them alive. But without the tank support, they are just horribly overwhelmed here. Yeah. All right. So that was a little bit of an aggressive play there. Out of Clem on the fourth base of... Or, yeah, the fourth base of Rainer, but eh. Fifth base already done here from Rainer. Uh, another base on the way from Clem. 22 lings in production. He really just has lings, queens, and mains right now. He doesn't seem to have any other tech. He's got a lair, but he doesn't have a spire. He doesn't have a roach horn. He doesn't have a hydralisk den. Is Rainer trying to prove a point here? I do want to mention this is a Wardy replay. So check him out. I put links to Wardy's Twitch stream and YouTube channel in the description below if you want to watch some some good stuff. Wardy puts together his own tournaments. And he gets players like this to come to him. So, I mean, can't argue much with that, right? Rainer's Ling. I haven't seen this level of effectiveness. That's 20 SCVs killed. I haven't seen Ling run by us get this amount of damage done in years. It really feels like. I really don't know why there's a million Lings and Banelings back here. Like, what are you... I just feel like Rainer has complete control over this game right now. He's up 21 workers, the income dab. 
is favoring him here as well. The Banshees are causing some problems down here. Because he didn't make a spore at his fifth base. Oh, no. Also, really? We're this entrenched? We're this entrenched that you're just going to sack this base. I do want to point out that Rainer still doesn't have anything but Lings, Banes, and Queens. And that uh, my arguments are generally that Zerg is not overpowered. But I will point out that he has gotten to 10 minutes against Clem. Who has things like Banshees and Siege Tanks and Medivacs and Marines and Hellbats. And he's hanging. He's probably ahead with just Ling Bane Queen here at 10 minutes. That said, Infestation Pit on the way. So, I don't know, maybe some Fungals. I don't know why he couldn't destroy this. I really don't. I feel like he has enough Lings and Banelings for that. He's got 100 Zerglings and 30 Banelings. You really can't beat this with that much stuff? Uh, Clem continuing to push in. This is a very strange game. It's an incredibly strange game. What are these? What are they doing? We're gonna. I mean, going for this base seems like pretty viable strategy, I guess. Widow mines being produced. A hive is on the way. Still nothing but lings and banes and the queens. I mean, making widow mines in the face of this seems like an incredibly intelligent decision. I like this play from Clem. I like it when Terran makes Widow Mines anyway against Zerg. Ah. It's coming around the backside. See? Like, why this wasn't possible? And you could have saved the fourth base? I don't quite understand. I like how that... It's like a translucent hatchery coming up. What can we see below this? Uh, are they going to cancel this? Oh my gosh. He's going to get it. Okay, cancelled it. I mean, it's gotta be Ultralisks from Raynor, right? He's just biding his time with Lings and Banelings until he can get Ultralisks out. That's gonna be his other level of tech. Baneling bomb on the planetary! Goodbye, planetary fortress. Goodbye, seven more SCVs. God, the economy... It's just not healthy for Clem today, and it's not his... I mean, it's kind of his fault. Leaving the door open a couple times against Ling Runbys is not ideal. But suddenly, it's 95 to 64 army supply. Rainer's making 42 more Zerglings. He's got 2-2 two -two upgrades on these guys. Uh, does he have the adrenal glands? He doesn't have adrenal glands, everybody. This is a very strange TVZ. I gotta say, when I loaded up these two players, I did not think to myself, yes, one of these players... Uh, we'll just forego higher tech units. Here we go. Ultralis Cavern coming in at 12 minutes. Uh, <laughs> Again, it really feels like Rainer just kind of wants to prove a point here today. Like, Clem, you think you're the number one ranked player in the world? Well, I can beat you without even getting Lurkers, without even getting Hydralisks, without getting Roaches or Ravagers. Or Mutalisks or Corruptors. Which honestly would be a pretty impressive statement to make. If he can pull it off. But if you lose doing this strategy, then it's like... Oh, I was just messing around. <laughs> right? Can't figure it out. Widow Mines burrowing in. I think Cyril might have the best control against Widow Mines in the world. Rainer's okay, but Cyril's just... He's had more high-level practice against it, I guess. More Widow Mine drops. Okay, I like this out of Clem. He's going Widow Mine drops. He's not just incorporating them into his, uh, into his army, which he is. He's not just doing that. Kindness plating coming up. Uh, adrenal glands would be an incredible upgrade to have, but Rainer not doing it. It reminds me of that game between Cyril and Fiona I cast last year sometime, but uh, Cyril didn't get adrenal glands for like a 30 minute TVZ. It was insane. He doesn't have anabolic synthesis. Like, he's not. I <laughs> don't. What is happening here? See, this is what Medivacs can do when you don't have any Spire units at all. They just casually fly around. Queens show up. They just don't bother. He's like, ah, oh, yeah, so Queen, I guess I'll go somewhere else for the moment. But they're not, like, dying at all. 
We don't mind. It's getting cleared out here. Resources lost. 21,000 for Rainer. 14,000 for Clem. The numbers are different. Rainer trying to take a base on this left side, which Clem, I think, is ignoring, but accidentally might discover exists. Nope. Didn't get backed into that position at all. Ultra. Blah. Don't have speed. Where's the anabolic synthesis? What is Rainer doing in this game? Rainer is, like, is he messing around against the number one Oligulite player on Earth? I just, no anabolic synthesis, no adrenal glands, no plus three melee attack. Meanwhile, on the other side, Clem's working on plus three armor for his infantry. Widow mines are just getting massive hits and look he's like i don't need corruptors for these liberators i have some queens i guess i don't know Can he, i don't know it's just the widow mines the widow mines are just getting such value these scvs are all dead uh, uh, 13 scvs down there once again clem has taken serious hits to his economy today and it's gonna toss it out there serious hits to his economy he's lost 64 scvs uh, these queens all die because they're off creep, and of course they're going to die. Some lings and bailings, and an ultralisk wander into this third base. Do 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 do. Fourth base is fine. Fifth base is up and running. Rainer's got this left side thing happening. He's on six bases. <laughs> oh, oh, it's adrenal clans. We found it. More SCVs sort of dying here, but not really. Ow. Like Friendly fire would have mind splash, splash. It's something that's fun. Dude, but seriously, you know what's really good for Ultralisks is anabolic synthesis. Is this still more Widow Mind drops? Is this just more Widow Mind drops casually happening with Clem right now? This is a very, very, very unorthodox TBZ. At least from Rainer's perspective. Everything Clem's doing, I think, makes perfect sense. He's going for the Widow Mine drops because there's no Spire. So that's fine. Uh, Adrenal Glance is not done at 17 minutes, which is a, just a big time problem. This hatch is dead. You're not saving it! I guess, okay, reinforcing Bane Links came in. Just kidding, totally saved. Rainer knows what he's doing here, everybody. He is, he is the world champion, even if he does Crazy weird stuff sometimes. Man, Ultra is just waddling over here. Look how slow they are without anabolic synthesis. Look at them. Do, 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 do. It's a casual stroll today, Govna. Just taking a casual stroll. What's the word for stroll in English? England English. Bit of a jaunt. Uh, nip out for a stroll. <laughs> it's 11.30 at night. Just ignore me. All right. Uh, hmm. No. Yes. Hmm. I... I'm just utterly and completely distracted by the fact that there is no speed on these ultras. It's suddenly 200, 150 supply. Clem has a massive lead. More SCVs die, because that's been the total theme of this game. As SCVs die, Rainer doesn't get air units, and Rainer doesn't get speed for his ultras, which again, you can tell the difference by looking at them. Liberator getting some kills over here. I think Clem has this game won. But, like, I don't know how good I feel about it if I'm Clem. Because you're like, hang on. He didn't make any Spire units at all? No. He didn't get speed for his Ultralisks? Mm-mm. Yeah, so this... I mean, if this is Rainer trying to prove a point, it's not working, man. If you're trying to prove you're this much better than Clem, even without, you know... Incredibly important upgrades. You're doing this wrong. I mean, I would like to point out again, he doesn't have, even have the plus three melee attack. 
Clem just very bravely marching in here and got Liberator support. The Liberators can't really be bothered by anything but Queens at this point. I mean, I like that Rainer's all over the place. Killing so many SCVs and shutting down this right side base entirely. Tossed down some fun. I think Fungals and Queens just killed a Banshee. The Ultras are so slow. Like, off creep. Even Anabolic Synthesis Ultralisks wouldn't be able to catch this. Normal, boring Ultras cannot, definitely, definitely cannot catch this. Raiders down to 100 supply and Clem's at 181. I mean, come on. Come on, come on. This game is over. Come on, come on. Widow Mind saving this base. That's your GG. I just. <laughs> what? What? What is this? I don't I don't understand what this is. Why are there a million casters in this game? There's a million casters in this game. I don't know. I for a Patreon game that I was expecting to be a super big slugfest, it was a slugfest. Like I'm not gonna tell you it wasn't a slugfest. That was great. But um at the same time. I what? At the same time, what? We did not get plus three missile attack. We did not, not get anabolic synthesis. We did not get adrenal glands until like the 17 minute mark. And Clem just reacted perfectly. Clem was like, all right, uh, going to get some widow mines in here. Going to do some widow mine drops because you don't have a spire. Uh, you didn't get speed for your ultras. So liberators are really good. Marines Marauders, excellent. And Clem just, I mean, it wasn't the cleanest, like, easiest looking victory I've ever seen. Clem did end up losing about 30,000 resources today, including 200 Marines, all Planetary Fortress, and 88 SCVs. So, I mean, he was having a rough time of it. This is not something where it was easy for him, but for Rainer to go this strategy... I don't know. It's one of the more, more. <sighs> crazy, crazy, crazy games that I've ever seen. I don't know what else to tell you about this. <laughs> hmm. Clem fans, I don't know how I feel about this win, but if I were in your shoes, I would be very confused about what Rainer is trying to do. Again, maybe he's trying to prove a point, but it didn't work out. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. This is going to be Falcon Paladin with a very, very strange Patreon episode this week. Uh, if you will, Again, ad-free content at patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin for as little as $1 a month. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. So again, this is me coming to you with another edition of StarCraft Two Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I'm here five times a week with StarCraft 2 content. And you can also find me at Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thanks for hanging out, and you take care of yourself.